loves our young people. <laughs> he loves our young people in this community and really all around the, uh, the country. You know his basketball piece, but as a as a human being and a person, one of the, one of the best ever. Uh, Devin Harris. Yay! <laughs> Open up. Uh, I, obviously, Devin's, Devin goes to probably what, camps for summer. Yeah, probably about 15. 15. <laughs> I, if they would allow me to do more, I would. Uh, but, uh, I've been doing it. Um, obviously, I've been 14 years in the NBA. Um, even when I wasn't here, I still came back and did, did hoop camp because I'm such a fan of it. Um, I enjoy it. I know the kids enjoy it, but it's just uh, it's something I look forward to every summer. Um, and the level of basketball and the teaching that goes on, I think it's fantastic. I don't think any other NBA team does it the way that we do it. It's a tribute to these guys and the coaches um, that I've grown, grown to know over the years. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just something, like I said, I put my kids in it. I look forward to doing it. And uh, I'll continue to do it, hopefully, even when, when I'm not playing. How about we open it up for questions? Because I know you probably have some questions. How many of you have been at a camp where Devin... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. Well, we open it up to a few questions. Uh, obviously, it's a long night for all of you, but after the minutes in the game that uh, Devin just played, yeah. Small guards, tips. Um, you right or left hand? Work on your left hand. You want to be able to use both hands. Um, guards, dribbling, uh, seeing the court. Uh, shooting, obviously, everybody wants to shoot, working on your form, but as a point guard, being able to go both ways is really important, uh, especially when you get to a, a higher level. People start to figure out what you're good at, and they'll try to take it away. So you've you got to be able to counter that with some other stuff. What is your pre-game routine? What is my pre-game -pre routine? Um, I get dressed the same way every time. <laughs> Left sock, right sock, tights, shorts, shirt. <laughs> What's your work ethic? Like, what's your work ethic? My uh, work ethic? Uh, I'm usually probably the first one here. Um, I'll tell you, as you get older, I try to work smarter, not harder. Um, but, uh, it's always been great. I mean, I've learned from guys, you know, watch guys like Finley, Dirk, uh, Steve Nash. These guys are, are extremely studious to the game. They work extremely hard. So when I came into the league, I had great teachers. And I just kind of followed suit. Will I eat for a game? Uh, I guess that's a free game ritual every time. I eat the same thing too. So uh, normally salmon, uh, broccoli, and some mashed potatoes. How much games We have a coach that loves film. Um, we watch uh, typically uh, offensive mistakes, uh, corrections. Uh, defensive stuff, and then our younger guys actually, uh, they have an iPad with a specific program to them. They can watch their cuts, uh, their mistakes, how they can get better. And then we have a, uh, uh, an app that actually shows them plays, and they're timed on it, and they're scored on it. So it's like kind of muscle memory type thing, to make sure they're in the right spot. Us old guys, we don't, we don't think that fast, so we don't have to do that. <laughs> what do you do for free time? What do I do for free time? Um, I used to have fun. I have three kids now, and they pretty much take up my whole my whole free time. <laughs> Advice for the kids that want to go pro? Uh, obviously, work hard. Um, the Mavs camp will definitely help. <laughs> but just uh, work on the fundamentals. The younger you get, the fundamentals are a base of whatever you guys do. Once you get the fundamentals going down, then you can start to expand your game and do different things. But I think fundamentally sound, the game isn't where it used to be as far as young kids. Um, if you work on those things and then sort of build, that's the best way to get to that level. Um, start start from the ground up, fundamentals, left hand, right hand, layups. Everybody knows, you can watch videos and, and the guys that are teaching it, work on those and then build from there. What's your favorite TV show? What's my favorite TV show? Um, right now, Stranger Things on Netflix. Uh, what's your favorite NFL team? My favorite NFL team? <laughs> <laughs> it's the Green
Green Bay Packers. <laughs> but I am from Wisconsin. Yeah. But I cheer for the Cowboys when they're not playing Green Bay. <laughs> How much do we practice a day? Um, during the season, we're about two and a half, three hours. Off season, like five, five to six hours. What is dirt like in the locker room? <laughs> <laughs> There's two sides to dirt. There's an American dirt, which you guys know, is very uh, well spoken, very respectful. And then there's German dirt. <laughs> He's not so nice. Let's leave it like that. Do I pay myself with 2K? I used to. Like I said, once I had kids, video games, fun, just kind of all went out the window. Uh, my biggest challenge in my career, um, when I came into the NBA, when I came into the Mavs, they were 50 team. So they already established a culture and trying to fit into that as a young player, even a coach like Avery Johnson, was very difficult for me. He rode me so, so hard and just like couldn't believe the things that I had to go through my career to so make me better and make me understand you know, how important preparation was, how important it was to learn the game, to study the game. Hard, but you know, I'm glad I went through. The toughest player I ever had to play, I mean, a lot of them. Kobe um, Bryant's up there, you know, getting injured the entire night. Uh, Allen Iverson was, was very tough, and believe it or not, probably Steve Nash. Um, the ability to score and, and pass at the same time was, was very tough to guard. What's your favorite move? What's my favorite movie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Choose three. I have to say Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen Megan Fox? Where? <laughs> 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 Probably say early in my career, I'd probably shoot first. Now I'm probably more pass first. My best friend in the league. I'd probably think JJ Brick passing the ball a lot. <laughs> what did you study in college, sir? Uh, sociology. Nice. What was your main goal for working? What is your main goal for working? Main goal for workout? Yeah. To make more shots instead of missing. We have time. What's your favorite sport except for basketball? Uh, I like sand volleyball. What, who do you think the most exciting rookie is this season? Do I have to say Dennis Smith? <laughs> no. no. Um, I'd probably say Jason Tatum. It's probably no surprise. What was your favorite NBA player? Favorite NBA player growing up, Kenny Hart. Hey, hey. Uh, yeah, we got some other teams. Um, we'll try to see those guys when they play here when we go there. Uh, we'll set each other down and then with him. Um, think of other guys. Uh, Sean Livingston, we got drafted at the same time. So, we're just trying to find a balance of spending time with our guys and then also seeing the whole friends. It's the hardest team I've ever played. Uh, it was probably the Celtics when they had the big three. My best friend in the league. Right now, the prize is. How about we have uh, three more questions? Um, Who's the biggest goofball in the locker room? The biggest goofball in our locker room? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably Dirk. <laughs> Uh, both. <laughs> 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 you have one coach? You have one coach? You coach the kids? Any coach? Greg Pop. Oh, Greg Pop. That hurts his head. My favorite basketball team besides the Mavericks? I 
say probably the most entertaining for the team to watch right now is probably Houston. Yeah. Uh, question. Yeah, up here. Do you have like a favorite team that you prefer over all the other years? Uh, my favorite match team probably of all time was uh, Rondo. Yeah, we had Brandon Wright. And we were just like throwing lobs like crazy, scoring 145 a game. What's some advice you have about getting into the paint through defense? What's some advice you have about getting into the paint through defense? Defense? Um, angles. Taking sharp angles against defense. Typically, people are taught to kind of keep them in front. You take sharp angles, and usually kind of get them, get them leaning one way. That's when the Euro step comes into mind. Taking a sharp angle, getting them to retreat, and then making them move from there. Thank you. Good job, Ben. Is there something I can do? about sharp angles, cutting off sharp angles, keeping your chest in front of the ball as much as possible. Um, I don't take charges like I normally have in the past. I'm getting older, they kind of hurt more. But just keeping your chest in front of the defender as much as possible, but without fouling, showing, showing your hands. <laughs> Player that I most hate. <laughs> you got a list? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I guess I really don't hate anybody because they can quite dislike the most. Let's take uh, probably Westbrook. <laughs> My favorite shoe? Probably Jordan's. 11's. Have a sweet side of towards right wing. Right wing. No. Um, <laughs> no? Oh, yes. Okay. Um, what did it feel like when you were traded from the Mavs? When I was traded from the Mavs to the Nets? Uh, it wasn't my finest hour. I got traded from the Mavs to the Nets. I mean, being traded for you know, a 35 year old guy. We're in first place. Um, team that I didn't want to leave, going from a you know a perennial playoff team to a team that's on the other end. It's very hard, but you know, look at it as an opportunity. Um, obviously, playing with guys like Dirk sort of had to defer, and then I got to be a first option. You know, and I made my first All-Star game, so it wasn't all bad. thing called luck <laughs> because I didn't even see the rim so sometimes you just gotta throw up there and hope for the best. Awesome. Hey uh Devin oh, thank you very much. Hey. Thanks.